Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a review on the Becca and Jaclyn Hill collaboration face palette. I've had mine for I would say about two and a half weeks or so when it first um, launched on Sephora.com is when I purchased mine. So I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of reviews on it, but I figured it would be a great idea just to throw my opinion out there and just in case you wanted a more honest review, so I know some people um, get paid to talk about this, so I don't. Um, this is what it looks like. I have not taken the film off of it yet. I don't really know why, but... So it's just the white and in the back it's the gold and then it has like the um like dots like the um gold and silver like it's supposed to be a champagne burst apparently so this is what the palette looks like it comes with a protective cover with all the names on it so it comes with two full-size highlighters and then three blushes I believe these are going to be, they're technically three blushes. I can use this one in the middle as a bronzer. Um, so basically they have, they all have different names of champagne. And of course, if you have her champagne pop, then you already have this highlighter here. I don't own it, so it was nice to get it all together. This is the first like collaboration of theirs that I actually picked up myself. I did not get the other face palette that they had over Christmas that was limited edition. So it comes with two full size highlighters, a more mineralized shimmery blush, and then two matte blushes. I will do swatches so you can see all of them. Um, I am wearing the highlights today on the highest points of my face, um, as well as the more shimmery blush. I'm also wearing that on my the apples of my cheeks. This is what they look like here going from going from the more gold highlighter starting at the bottom and then I have so I guess I'll just give you guys the names. <clears throat> so we got Pro, Prosecco Pop Pros, Prosecco Pop Champagne Pop um, Rosé Spritz, Amaretto, and then the, um, the pinky shade is Pamplemousse, I don't know, but it's the lightest pink and it doesn't have any shimmer in it at all. So I wanted to tell you guys my thoughts on the palette. I think the formulation of these are incredible. They're very smooth, very pigmented, very easy to work with and blend out. And I also love the packaging. I think it's really cool. I wish it was a little bit slimmer and a little bit easier to travel with just because it is pretty bulky. But I know my highlighters and my blushes will be protected. I like how it's kind of like an all-in-one palette. I can take it traveling and you pretty much have all you need right there. It retails for $52 on Sephora.com and you can also get it in stores. I know that it's limited edition again. Uh, I'm sure they'll collab in the future, but I think it's a great product and I think that you guys should go and get one for yourself. Um, I do think that it would work up to a tanner skin tone. I still don't think the highlighter is dark enough for a deeper skin tone. Um, but go into Sephora and swatch it and see. I just don't think it will be dark enough just because it's, I mean, it's golden. But I just think it would be a little bit too light. But for the deeper skin tone, you would definitely like the middle blush, the Amaretto. That one is really pretty as well. So one more time, I'll just show you guys the palette itself. All the colors look like that. That is it for this video. Super quick and easy. Those are just kind of my thoughts. I think it's a great palette and I think you guys should totally go check it out. If you get your hands on it, let me know how you feel about it down in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoy this video and until next time, I'll talk to you soon.